and welcome another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Periscope television show with Mr. Oh, we've got people joining already. How cool is this? <laughs> with Mr. 2020 and Victoria and Emmett. I don't know if you can see Emmett. Uh, That's all right. But, uh, he's down we know there. what he's yeah, like. We, we, we all know <laughs> who Emmett is and what he's like. So Victoria's not wearing a top today with buttons that he will go crazy about. <laughs> and uh, God, we've got some goody stuff. So uh, Victoria had a great idea. So she said, if you have any questions, right, toss them up in the comments and she's going to jot them down while I'm answering the questions that we already have set up. So if yeah. you have any questions or comments, toss them out there. She'll write them on paper, right? <laughs> paper is a really cool thing, right? Yeah. And so we'll make sure we address them today. <clears throat> and, and just so you know, we actually don't see your questions until about two minutes after after you've posted them. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. That's why I'm going to write them down because otherwise, yeah. yeah. That's why Periscope is free. Hi. Hey, Adam. Adam. Uh, Adnan. Well, Adnan. hello. Adnan. Adnan. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Got it. Yeah, it's, it's also small print. So. Yeah. All right, so let's dive in. So uh, today we're going to answer some questions by Sheila, who is on day 56 of Manifesting Mastery. Yeah. Uh, the, the part of TT is played by himself and yeah, I Victoria. I play me. Uh, Victoria <laughs> will play both Sheila and herself. Oh, okay, I'll play Sheila. Okay, right. so this is me. This is Sheila. Right. I have not read a newspaper or watched TV news in many, many years. If, no, sorry, I've been called an ostrich, but I don't care. <laughs> However, I do read novels and watch some sitcoms on TV and movies on Netflix. I keep things as light as I can. However, I'm wondering if I get emotionally involved in books and movies and if these are affecting me. Would hate to give them up. Your thoughts, please. All right. So let's <coughs> start with the quote of Neville's and then we'll share some of our stuff. So Neville says, believe me, you are the cause of all the phenomena. Or the, you were the cause of the phenomena of your life. Be it good, bad or indifferent. If the news is distasteful, you are the dreamer of that distasteful storm. But the day will come when you will awake and discover that the storm is over. There is only one cause, and that is awareness. So th this is a goodie. This is really, really good because uh, it's you don't got to give up everything right, to manifest well and to live well. However, uh, realize if, if you're watching... Uh, you know, a TV show that uh, about women that hate men or men that hate women or a lot of violence, uh, it's going to go in the box, right? So, you know, yeah, just be selective and loving with what you watch. You know, like uh, we've watched, uh, uh, we watched uh, 24 and we've watched Lost, right? And some stuff like that. And uh, I, yes, I did land on an island on an airplane. My life changed like Jack's. Uh, but, uh, and our, <laughs> and, yeah, and our friend Harry does work for the justice department and he drives a Ford Jack mobile kind of thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, again, you know, part of the whole thing with Neville is Neville says, do you believe in the reality of your imaginal act? You know, if you're, if you're buying into, by the way, I like Tom Clancy books. I got a stack of them over there, mm -hmm. uh, but so far I've not gone on the red October. The, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, you know. Uh, you, you really get to just notice, what am I feeding myself? How do I feel after reading or watching this? Mm. Uh, it's just like food. I mean, people go, well, you know, I'm going to study dieting and stuff. Well, study it, right? You know, I mean, it's important to eat what is actually healthy food, but pay attention to your body. Your body's going to tell you what's going on. And your body is going to tell you, you know, how the show's affecting you and how the conversation's affecting you. Uh, mm. I, I, I don't answer the phone, okay? Because, you know, I just don't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't answer the phone. If, I'm, if, if you're not scheduled and the phone rings, I generally do not answer the phone, right? Because uh, I want people to be trained that I am not the guy to call when you just want to casually bullshit or share garbage. So uh, that's what I do. I know for me, I love watching, um, you know, I love Attenborough. Oh, Attenborough or watching, rules. Yeah, you know, what's any, his first name? David. David Attenborough. David. Um, Hello, UK. Hi, from North Wales. Hello, Perry girl. I used to live in Wales. <laughs> eight years yeah um, hit the hearts hit the hearts <laughs> <laughs> but i was down in abergavenny right um what was i going to say oh yeah wild wildlife documentaries or nature anything to do with that i love those sorts of ones mm. um yeah i i don't know but i can imagine that if you're watching movies that were like horror or something like that who's that chucky like saying, charlie what are you, you know, feeding little, yourself the little stabby kids stabby 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 st
had one down the dog park the other day. It was the first one Emma had ever seen. Sorry, so, someone just said we want kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, if we take little diversionary things, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't mean that we've lost our mind. Yeah, you it's know. to one person and the other 20 are thinking, what is going on here? Sorry. All right. We'll, we'll carry on. Okay, so that, right. that was good. Yeah. So, that was excellent. So, Victoria's now going to play Sheila again. Oh, okay. So, the second bit that Sheila said was, when I hang up the phone from a call with my emotionally troubled daughter or a distraught friend, do I do an immediate revision or do I go into a state akin to sleep and then the revision? So let's talk about revision real quick. So, because Neville teaches, you know, at the end of the day, revise what happened, right? So we, we've got a really quick feel it real formula. Uh, this is not all that's in, uh, we've got that massive uh, feel it real power pack thing, right? It's really cool, heaps of stuff keep you busy for, we, we had somebody return it in 20 minutes. They said, I went through it, it's not what I expected and it won't work. It's like, damn, you're fast. You know, yeah, it's like, of the thousands, whatever it is that we've... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, thousands of people have bought that. And it's yeah. like, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm the one that can do it all in 20 minutes. Right, yeah. well, if you, anyway. So, so here's a tiny little snip of what's, what's the, the kind of stuff that's in there. So, Neville says, if you don't want unlovely things to happen, did I already read this? Yeah, I already read that. So, he said, he, I think I did. Anyway, you, you need not wait until the day's end to change a thought to fulfill a desire. Now, this is important because at the end of the day, revise. If there's anything that was crap during your day, uh, revise it, change it. You know, I imagine the lady that... You know, 20 minutes after downloading it, it's like, I've listened to it all and it, it doesn't work. In other words, yeah, just give it to me for free, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I revise that. Yeah, I imagine her getting it. I imagine, and, yeah, I just imagine her life changing because she actually takes the time to learn this stuff and do it. So that's the end of my day. I'm laying in bed going, what happened today that was a little upsetting or that it still pops up in the box? And so, yeah, you know what, I'll imagine, I'll imagine good for her. I'll imagine that Emmett didn't scratch his belly. I'll imagine all these cool, lovely things, right? That's the end of the day. Uh, I can also do it right after, right? Why not? You know, because, you know, you know I read something or I see something. Uh, I eat the cars at the mechanics and uh, the mechanic says it's going to be a day because yada, 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 something. We're, we're busy. And I just go, oh, cool, man. So I just imagine, yep, your car's done. You know, have a good time. But, yeah, my car's still not in the driveway. I don't care because I know it's getting done. It's getting done right because I revised it, right? Uh, third thing, Neville says, why wait? Mm -hmm. Do it now. Okay, he, he basically says right here, uh, why not do as my friend does and revise the conversation as you hear it? Mm. Okay, I swear to God, some people must think I'm insane because they'll be giving me the worst news and I'm deadpan at best, or, or if at worst, I'm smiling, mm. right? Because I, I'm hearing good stuff and it's funny to me because some, how many times are we in conversations where people will be gloom and doom and at the end, for some reason, they get happy and it's like, well, you know, but yeah, and you, you can just watch, they're, they're taking my thing, right? It's all one consciousness anyway. But because I'm, I'm basically in there going, yep, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I'm imagining something lovely for you as you're telling me something different. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, I totally agree with that. As soon as it's like that, nip it in the bud. That's you know, the that, that lovely phrase of just nip it in the bud. Get, don't let it linger. Because while it lingers, in you before you have the revision, it's lingering in the other person, it's you living bet. in consciousness, yep, yep. it's like just immediately. The, yeah. There's only one consciousness. Yeah. Right? If, if, you, if, if, if you're tilting in the, fa uh, in the direction that they're going, uh, tilt them in the direction that you want to go. And again, yeah. I'm talking duality because that's how English is structured, but there's just one consciousness. Mm. So, you know, yeah. Lovingly. Lovingly. Lovingly for, yeah. But by the way, people say, I need to be careful about what I do. Uh, by the way, I said that a lot. I need to be careful about what I think, what I feel. Uh, careful is not a loving word. Mm. Okay? Caring is. Mm. So just imagining lovingly, it gives to everyone. And don't wait. By the way, uh, let's do a uh, Neville Goddard Secrets of Speed update. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, here's a Neville Goddard Secrets of Speed update officially from the Free Neville Goddard people. Hi from the U.S. Hi, we're at, U.S. We're in the U.S. El Cangri. <laughs> El Cangri. <laughs> Sounds like a Mexican name. So, <laughs> yeah, the hunt for Red October. So, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> so, what were we talking about? You were talking about speed. Oh, yeah, speed. Florida. Florida. Got it. So, <laughs> that's uh, someone else. Oh, that's someone that's else. Honey <laughs> so, Florida. Okay, I thought you were someplace else. Interesting. So, uh, <laughs> or actually, I thought you were someone else then. 
Anyway, so speed. Uh, let's pretend you're self-employed. And Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rican. I love Puerto Rico. Thank you. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah, by the way, Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. in a way, right? Uh, for those who are geographically challenged like me. So, the let's talk about speed. If you're self-employed and you uh, decide not to do any work till the end of the month, you're not going to get paid till the end of the month, right? Every day we send out an email. It's one of the first things we do. I get the loo, do a quick check, anything i got to take care of quick. And one of the first things we do every day is we send out an email. Why? Because that's payday. People go to the site, they read the 800 free articles, the 100 videos, whatever, and some people actually buy stuff. We love that, right? That, that's payday, okay? So we do it. We do it first thing. It's the most valuable way we can give, and it's the most valuable way we can be given to. So we do it fast, we do it first. That's just like this manifesting stuff. Oh, I can't wait to the weekend till I can sit down and do a feel it real session. Are, are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to the weekend whenever, you know, I used to go to the crapper when I worked in the old folks home, right? I, imagine me wiping butts, okay? <laughs> so, so when I worked in the old folks home, I'd sneak off to the crapper, right? Shut the door and, and basically I'd put on my pants because I'd want to just sit down. And I'd literally, I'd sit on the toilet, go into the state of the kid to sleep. So I'd be knocking on the door in about five, ten minutes. And it's like, right, right, I'm coming, I'm coming, right? So I'd say, boy, you take a, you know, you use the loo a couple times a day. He says, yeah, the alternative sucks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you want me not to, I won't. But I was also a shining light in the place because, you know, it kept my attitude up. So it kept me positive because I knew where I was going because I'd been there already in the loo that day. Uh, the loo, by the way, is the bathroom for people who are not here. So... Uh, Make the time. Trust me, you can always make the time. Make the time, make the time, make the time. Do it now, don't wait. Because even if I just waited to the end of the day, I'd have to make it through the day, and then I can finally do my feel it real thing. So you're going to build patterns in your life. After all this stuff, finally, I can pay myself. Pay yourself first. Okay? Pay yourself first. You know, do your feel it real sessions. You know, Eat a good brekkie. You know? uh, and, and find out what good is. Good is not fruit. Fruit is of the devil. Uh, <laughs> I like fruit. <laughs> <laughs> fruit is of the devil. <laughs> Do the research. It's genetically modified sugar sugar sacks. Right? There's the, and the, think about it. A real apple is a real apple. Right? A real mango is a real mango. Oh, a mango is still yeah. real. Yeah, 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 I'll concur on a mango. But you know, you know, in, in 100 years, apples or mangoes are going to be like apples, genetically modified and mucked up and just sugar sacks. So. All right. All so right. That's good. Okay. Quick summary. Uh, speed things up, do your feel it real now. Pay, you know, you know, revise at the end of the day. Revise after an event if you want to, but revise during. Okay? Just imagine somebody just joined. Uh, <laughs> I <yeah. can't>. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. Okay? It's important. Uh, and the second thing, just notice, uh, notice, tune into your body. Okay? Your body is a really nice barometer. Uh, you are not your body, but your body's pretty darn useful. And if you watch a TV show and you realize you're wanked out for a couple, you know, don't don't, don't do it. We we watched we tried to watch a movie a while back, and we got maybe half an hour into it, and it had good people in it, but it, you know, people we normally like to watch. But it's just like, this just feels like crap, mm. and so we killed it, right? Deleted it, gone, right? Mm. So uh, <coughs> that's it. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. no questions today. Wow. Uh, no, Over. other than uh, one. Honeybee, I don't know if he's still there, but um, she mentioned, or oh, they mentioned, I assume yeah, it's she, Honeybee, but yeah. um, mentioned that they imagine themselves as self-employed. So, yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah. Remember, Neville says it's going to happen in the most natural way possible. If uh, we, we love creating value. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we do with all of our little business adventures. We keep creating value in little niches and having fun and helping people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like Zig Ziglar said something about if you help enough people get what they want, you get what you want. But think of it this way. It's, it's not doing the business that makes you succeed. It's imagining the success. Okay, you've got to imagine success. There's a lot of people doing stuff and they're not successful. They're doing all the right things, but they're imagining the wrong things. There are people that take nutritional supplements who imagine being sick all the time, so they're sick. Okay, take nutritional supplements because we need them because food today is nothing more than genetically modified sugar sacks. <laughs> but also imagine health, right? Yeah, you know, live from health and yeah. happiness. So I reckon, seeing as we've committed to doing this every morning. Yes. Well, you have. 
Yeah, okay. I tend to be here most of the time. And when I'm here, I reckon... Dude, look at how her shadow looks like me and my shadow looks like hers. Her. Hmm. Sorry. No, but I can tell that right. is your hat. Right. Um, questions. I reckon it'd be great. This is a great opportunity if people have got questions or a comment, shoot them at us. Yep. And um, Because we can always divert from... We'll have a plan, like an idea of what we're going to talk about. But if you want to veer it off on another track, plans we're are, into that. Plans are what we deviate from. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, we're we're it's deviators. More spontaneous. We imagine ourselves <laughs> as money doublers and deviators. So. <laughs> okay. All right, Excellent. that's it. Have a great day. My name yep. is Mr. 2020. I'm Victoria. Down there's Emmett. Emmett. <laughs> and visit us at freeneville.com. That's F R E E Neville.com. Uh, email us at 2020 at exhostage.com and have a wonderful day. Hit lots of hearts real quick if you're here and you haven't already because we love hearts. I don't know why, but we do. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you on Facebook. See, see ya. ya. <laughs>